the petrol for its octane rating. The um, recent developments we had with uh, SO Synergy Supreme, where I found that the uh, samples that I got from Northamptonshire and Cambridgeshire in the last video, uh, they actually turned out to be um, high octane fuels as they're supposed to be, and uh, they weren't reading 93 RON like the uh, petrols in this area. So straight away, I, I, I basically need to find out if the petrol in this area is still um, going to be reading 93 RON to find out if it's more of a I don't know a distribution problem or whether SO have sort of caught wind of a of an issue and they haven't obviously said anything publicly about it but they've um, sorted it out so yep I'm here at my local SO and do they have any I'll wait behind this guy oh, look, they're out of diesel but they seem to have supreme Try the pay out pump. I don't really like using those things, but uh, I'll give it a go. Seems to be having to go in anyway, which I think's the idea. Life be more expensive than it was in Northampton. Yeah, don't worry about indicating, that's fine. And uh, yeah, so um, yeah, if we find out that this one. Uh, this sample from, uh, for those who don't know, this is uh, Whitney in Oxfordshire. Uh, the uh, SO sample here was previously showing, despite being ethanol free, it was uh, 93 RON. And the two previous um, uh, videos uh, of SO Synergy Supreme uh, showed to be ethanol free, um, but they were reading 100, uh, 100 102. Uh, I think it was 102 actually, uh, Ron, on the tester, which just uh, shows that it is actually a, a high octane fuel. There's no no issues because it's uh, uh, a comparative result to what we get from Shell V Power, uh, Tesco Momentum, and all the other sort of quality uh, super unleaded brands. Um, yeah, so let's get the uh, let's get this uh, sample in and get it tested. Pray this is uh, an exciting weekend for me. This is what it's come to. If you haven't seen the previous videos, I'd highly recommend you look back at the channel's playlist and start from at least part eight uh, of this video series because um, most of this probably won't make sense to you. However, uh, in this video, we're going to be doing a retest on the um, Synergy Supreme 99 uh, picked up from my local area. Uh, because um, in the previous videos, if you'd seen them, uh, you'd notice that it was reading a, a low octane figure despite being ethanol free. We've so far tested uh, two counties um, finding the uh, Synergy Supreme to be reading a low octane uh, despite being ethanol free. We've had a North Wales sample which contains 2% uh, ethanol that is the correct octane rating and uh, more recently we've had two samples from Northamptonshire and Cambridgeshire both of those are ethanol free and the uh, correct octane or at least uh, reading as high octane fuels uh, so that's uh, led me to need to retest the petrol in uh, the local area this one's from uh, just a, a mile down the road from me uh, just to see if uh, either SO have got their act together and this will read um, a, a high octane figure or whether it's still reading 93 uh, RON in this area which means that there's obviously some sort of uh, supply chain issue. Um, in this test we're going to omit the ethanol test obviously if there is ethanol in it the reader will give some crazy high numbers so I'm just going to go straight to the octane test now after a cup of tea. And it's now back to what it should be exactly the same as well the other super and supreme unleaded brands tend to read around 101 to 103 ron in my uh, standardized method uh, when they're advertised as 99 plus so so synergy supreme now matches that it's certainly uh, good news to see as it means that the potential problems that could have occurred 
uh, if anyone was to use it in the car that's been timed for a higher octane fuel are now gone on the downside it does now mean we have some unanswered questions about what the heck was happening before with it reading low for so long uh, and more so we now won't know how widespread the issue was given that the outer area tests i've done were more recent i think we saw those from northampton and peterborough in march this year when it um, when it was last september when i did the batches that were reading 93 ron uh, we did have the earlier 96 run from December 2022, which uh, would be a dismissed result since uh, I tested it in a different container uh, than, using this, uh, uh, than using this jar. But a later retest of the same batch I did read the same. So I think it was well over a year uh, that SO's ethanol free um, versions, let's call them, uh, were well below their advertised octane. Of course, this does also mean that I can't confirm or debunk my theory about it being a national problem where SO's additive package didn't allow for the loss of octane in the fuel supplied without ethanol. I'm certainly keeping my theory open unless anybody can offer uh, ways to perhaps disprove it. Uh, so far, a few have suggested that it's a problem uh, with the tester itself, where I agree the uh, displayed octane number is only accurate to free RON as per its manual. Uh, it's always read consistent results from Shell, whose V power has always uh, been above 100 RON. Uh, Tesco Momentum actually read 105 or 106 when tested in a, a measuring cylinder. Uh, but on a retest in this uh, standardised method in the jar, uh, which better matches the operator instructions, it reads 103 RON. And not forgetting the country's rudest garage, BP, whose ultimate uh, 97 uh, read 98 RON. Uh, so the displayed results aren't far off as to make an isolated difference of at least uh, 8 RON uh, and only on uh, SO's petrol. Uh, a couple of people suggested that a particular additive in SO's petrol could have affected the results, uh, which is a possibility. However, how would you explain why it's not affecting it now or well, why in the ethanol remove sample we got from North Wales the additives in that didn't affect the results? Uh, as it was consistent with not only my theory about the additives package, since it read 94 RON with the ethanol removed, uh, but also the other ethanol blended samples we've seen from other brands in tests where uh, the ethanol was extracted. And not only that, I'm pretty sure uh, we can find a mathematical consistency uh, with that reading of a 3% ethanol blend that's supposedly 99 RON, uh, with the 2.5 blend of a 97 RON, and a few of the 5 to 6% uh, blends of 95 RON standard fuel. And even without it, it shows the tester isn't making wildly high or low readings should an additive be affecting it, uh, like, the, like what we get when there is ethanol present. Now another possibility here, albeit a stretch, as um, I, I am a modest uh, channel here with under 2,000 subscribers, uh, that somebody at SO was made aware that I uh, discovered a quality issue with their Synergy Supreme 99, uh, and then acted on it. Uh, it's not just my limited audience here, but I had several emails from people who had uh, copied me in uh, to their respective complaints to SO, uh, most of whom had uh, already suspected something wrong with the petrol and took my videos as a means to highlight the issue. I did intend to write to SO myself with my findings, however, uh, I did want to have results from all over the country to show them. In any case, the reply everybody got was the same, simply that all of their fuels um, met the uh, BSEN228 quality standards, which uh, uh, basically specifies the requirements of the fuel's contents and, and its properties, as well as the testing methods that are used to determine them. Uh, my £300 uh, tester here wouldn't be conforming to that, but again, it still doesn't explain the previous low readings specific to this one fuel from one supplier. I'd certainly love to know if anybody associated with SO was aware of anything I've done here. I can absolutely assure anonymity or uh, perhaps confidentiality is a better word. If you uh, did drop me an email perhaps, then uh, please check out my About page uh, where you can find it. So where do we go from here? Well, I do actually have yet another SO Synergy sample from London that I picked up a few weeks ago and I'm still waiting for some free time to test it. Uh, I'm planning a trip to Bournemouth on the south coast once I've saved up enough to uh, book a, a private MRI scan. The NHS good! 
So I can pick up SO and shell samples from there, along with uh, some perhaps from between Newbury and the uh, Winchester area. Uh, and yes, part two of Boiler House Garage on the road, which is my trip to London, is recorded and I'll uh, get it edited in due course for the five or six of you that might be interested in watching it as they're quite long. Uh, in fact, I've heard that YouTube tend to favour the 10 minute plus videos, so I'm glad I've waffled on a bit here as it should hopefully help the algorithms do their thing and uh, get me some more subscribers. On that note, if you haven't done so, please consider subscribing and feel free to ask any questions in the comments. Uh, I meant about the fuel tests. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.